Hi. I've been, I've been, uh, I'm gonna see Detective Pikachu today. It looks like it's gonna be good fun, medium expectations. But something I've been seeing popping up recently is that people are saying they, uh, want a Smash Brothers cinematic universe. Well, I think it's, first of all, better to call it a Nintendo cinematic universe. Because, I mean, why limit yourself creatively like that? Also, it sounds silly. I've been saying that I would like a Nintendo Cinematic Universe since way before, like, Guardians of the Galaxy came out. And when that came out, it cemented in my head, like, yeah, this could work. You could do Star Fox, like, that. You could do Earthbound, like, Stranger Things. Um, but most importantly, uh, well, I've got, I've made a whole little timeline for it. I'm a big sweaty nerd boy. I've done exactly that. I've, I've looked at a lot of film videos. I, I did film school for a little bit. I know what I'm doing there, to a degree. Probably not. Um, but one thing that we can all agree on, well, we should all be agreeing on, is that Smash Brothers being a child playing with toys is a really bad idea. Because people are saying, oh, they should make it so all the characters just come and meet each other through portals from their own universe. That's a really bad idea, and that's not how cinematic universes work at all. It's really stupid and boring. It completely lacks consequences, and takes away all risk from the story. Because if any character dies, they can just bring them back. Boring. Completely lacks consequence. Children playing with toys, you can just add and change things, and just... It just... Every time I'm gonna see people fighting on screen, I'm just gonna imagine a child smacking two Mario action figures together. Really boring. Really boring. You could do something really creative, like say, have them fighting Master Hand, and then they reveal, oh, Master Hand actually has just got the mind of a child, and it doesn't understand, so it becomes this really weird fight when they try not to hurt it, but they're trying to protect it or something and stop it hurting stuff. Like, that's an actual interesting concept. I'd see that movie, but if you have it as, oh, it's a child controlling everything. That's so boring. It's been panned to death so many times, like, child in coma, um, is dreaming this all up. Like, come on. Or, it was all a dream, literally. Everybody who've done, like, any English, like, it, the lowest grade of English writing class, like, I, ha I hated writing. I ha I'm, like, badly dyslexic. They say, like, oh, if you end your story with, it's all a dream, it's really bad, it completely lacks consequence. Why are people on Reddit asking for that? What, actually, what are you thinking? What, what's wrong with your brain? Who laid eggs in your brain? I don't know. I don't know what else to say. That's it. Please don't. Please don't ruin everything. Please don't pour billions of dollars into this and then just throw it all away because you read a Reddit comment that some some baby boy wrote. Thank you.